Hello everybody, welcome back to SnowRunner. Once again, we are checking out a new mod that came out recently by Franklin Diaz, and it is the Ford Bronco, the Badlands actually. Uh, so it is a two door instead of the four door. There's a four door option out there if you want to get that one. Uh, we're gonna be checking this one out today. So we are here and uh, we're gonna do some off-roading and see what it's capable of. And then we'll head over to the garage and we will see what you can do as far as customization goes on this, because there are a lot of options here. First things first, let's fire this thing up so you can listen to it here. Not a bad sound to it at all, actually. Oh man, already into the mud. Now, we don't have an engageable option for our diff, but we do have all-wheel drive available to us if we want to use that. So let's turn that on and we drive right on out of that, no problem. I knew that was going to be the case. Uh, but <laughs> well, let's go down this way, actually. But anywho, I wanted to say a very happy Wednesday to all of you um, and bring you up to speed on what has been going on and where I have been. Now, I did make a community post and I was talking to people about, you know, the comment section and, and I wasn't around a lot of the beginning of this week because we had people in town and all that stuff. And I was not able to really moderate the comment section like I normally do. And maybe it would be a surprise to you, but I do spend a lot of time moderating that. So I remove all of the spam, all of the negative trash that you normally would see in a lot of YouTube comment sections. So we don't all have to endure it when we go down there. So if you don't normally check out the comment section, you know, l let you know that I do take care of that and uh, and make sure that's a little bit more friendly for everyone instead of dealing with, um, you know, a normal one, <laughs> if you will. But regardless, here we are. I forget what map I'm even on. I, I think I'm in, yeah, okay. I'm in Wisconsin because I need to explore more of Wisconsin and get some things unlocked. So I figured, you know what? We'll drive this thing and put it through its its paces. Check out the interior on this thing. I love the fact that we have a bobblehead option and it gives you a GoPro. How cool is that? But look at the interior, really well done and modeled. Uh, I gotta say, you know, other than, you know, some texturing happening there on the wheel, it's a fantastic, a little interior here. So I tried to make this model as close as I could to the real Badlands version of the Bronco. And I also want to know, what are your opinions on the Bronco? Now, I've seen some of the Broncos and I don't like them. This version right here, there's something about this version of the Bronco that really makes me excited to see it when it does happen. Now, um, I've seen all of the base model ones out on the road and they're just, they're not for me. You know, they kind of look like a I don't know, a, not a Ford Bronco. <laughs> not what I would expect a Ford Bronco to be. But this one has got a little bit more oomph to it. And I do like the styling of it. I love the front end of the Broncos. I just don't like the rear end. Now on this one in particular with the spare wheel, it looks much better. I think it looks way better than the non spare wheel option that I have seen on the roadway. So I'd be interested to know what you think about the Bronco. And if you're excited for this version of it. Now, I don't think this thing has a snorkel on it. We don't even have an option to get a snorkel, so there's that. These are daytime running lamps. If I turn the headlights on, you'll see right there. There's the lights right there. And there's a front LED bar on that bar, but it doesn't seem to turn on during the day. So maybe it works at night. I don't know. Let's put this thing into low here and just crawl up the side of this little mountain here. We need to find a watchtower or two. Now, what's cool is I did download a new map and we I was going to use it today, but I couldn't because it doesn't allow, you know, it doesn't have a garage and you can't bring any other modded trucks onto it or anything, but it is basically a highway hauling mod. So, or map basically. So if it's something you would like to see, let me know. It does look pretty cool. Uh, and since it's a highway map, maybe we'll plug the wheel in and do a video that way. You know, that'd be pretty cool. All right, so new objective discovered. Of course, the creek bridge is out. Why wouldn't it be, right? Listening back into auto and away we are. Look at that. Big news in the simulation world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. The first, well, I don't like the term study level, but a lot of people use that term for whatever reason. I'm not a fan of that. So let's come down here and cross the, the creek here. You say creek, you say creek. I say creek, but I, I'm... I'm Almost pandering at that point, right? <laughs> Saying, there you go, crick. Cross the crick. Oh man, that thing has got some. Okay, straight up torque. 
remember, keep it with a grain of salt. I'm not sure how realistic that's going to be. But anywho, I'm getting sidetracked as I normally do. The Phoenix Simulations or Phoenix Simulations. I'm not really sure how you say their name. I think it's Phoenix. But they have an A320 coming to the sim. And there's a lot of people that are not excited about that. They're like, well, we already have an A320 with fly-by-wire and all this. And now that's the Neo. This one's going to be the CEO. So CEO, basically. The current engine option on the A320. So you're not going to have a Neo. You're going to have a different version of the A320. And it looks absolutely awesome. And what they're, at, you know, advertising it to be, it sounds like it's going to be one hell of a add-on. So I'm very excited about that. I will be doing some flying here very soon. So Microsoft Flight Simulator will be returning back on the channel with commercial aviation again. Uh, there's also some smaller airports I do want to try out that have come out. Green Lake. Yeah, we're not going that way. We're going to go straight this way. That works for me. So that is coming. I, I get asked that one all the time. Jeff, when are you doing that? And it is. It's coming. I promise you. So today is Wednesday. So I am recording. After this video goes out, I'll actually be in a call and recording 5PD with the boys. And then that will be coming out. And then Friday, I got a special video coming out for a racing game. And then we are pretty much slated for the weekend and what we want to do on the weekend. If you guys don't follow my Twitch channel, it will be linked in the description as always. You can come watch me do live streams of all various different games over the weekend. I'm sure I will be streaming there. But I normally stream Tuesday through Friday starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Right around 8 p.m. I don't know why I said 8 p.m. I don't usually commit to a certain time. Uh, Tuesday through Friday in the evenings. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> Those of you that um, that follow my Twitch channel, you know. it's I'm a YouTuber first and foremost. Twitch is kind of my, my secondary thing. But man, it's really turned into something special. And what an incredible you know community of people we have over there now. It's really come a long way. There's another mod out there now. It's a little bit more uh, difficult to install. But it removes all these massive rocks out of your trails on all the maps. Somebody took the time to remove them all. And as you can see, the amount of times you run over these damn boulders, <laughs> it would be very, very cool. So maybe I'll install that too and we can check that one out. I say we go down here to the right hand side and we cross this little bridge over here. What do you say? So far, very happy with this. This, this right out of the gate is such a cool vehicle. I am really enjoying it. I'm having a great time destroying the suspension on it, but I am having a lot of fun driving it. Now, another thing I did want to talk about is the new NASCAR 21 has been announced by most sports games. Now, I did not play NASCAR Heat 5, and there's a reason for that. I did not feel that I wanted to put my name on that game. It was NASCAR Heat 4. Let's not beat around the bush. And I did not want to drive any hype to the game when I felt it was just a, a reskin, basically. And, you know, they had... Monster Games had moved on. They were doing their own thing. And what was left of of the studio was, you know, a shell of a game, which is basically NASCAR Heat 4 at the time. So that's the reason why I didn't cover that one. Now, I'm super excited for the new one. I think that's going to be fantastic, you know? I mean, there's a lot of things there that, you know, there's some red flags. Uh, we don't know. We haven't seen their first game. A lot of people are buying into that hype train, as, you know, we all tend to do from time to time. I understand it. I'm the same way. I get excited. But the, you know, the promise to have this and people are expecting R-Factor 2 simulation in there. Let's, let's you know, not get too far ahead of ourselves until we see some, like, gameplay and some things there. Now, they haven't approached me yet, so I have no idea what the campaign is or marketing strategies are for this game coming out. Um, we just, you know, basically we're told, hey, it's happening. Not that, hey, it's ha happening on this date or anything like that. So I'm super excited for it. So I don't know if uh, they if they ask me to check it out. I definitely will. You know me. I'm a huge NASCAR fan. So I'm all ears for it. And a new NASCAR game, yes. And there's a lot of great things that are being, you know, brought up. That they, they brought up and said, hey, we have a full-fledged paint booth, which is a big one. So I'm very excited to see that. Um, you know, I I supported the NASCAR Heat games for so long, even though a lot of people disagreed with that. It was all we had. We didn't have any. We didn't have any stu major studios that were picking up 
the pieces that were left behind after the wake of the NASCAR 14 and 15 series. And they started all over from the beginning. Now, using the Unity engine, a lot of people were like, I don't know if I like the Unity engine. Um, but they were using a version of the Unity engine that wasn't like, you know, what you can go download and build a game on, basically. And they worked very, very hard with them to get different simulations in there for racing title, uh, for a racing title like that. So if you're wondering, that's what's going on. You know what? <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been following the saga of Earth 2 and, oh my God, all this, this, the scammy stuff that's been going on lately, but... I just got a flashback of seeing that Earth 2 uh, Jeep, you know, flipping around on the map. That's kind of what this <laughs> reminds me of, the, the yellow uh, Bronco here does. I saw this little bridge here. I want to go across there. There it is right there. So far, so good, man. This thing is capable. We haven't gotten stuck once. Like, I know we're not going, like, real hardcore here, but I'm liking this thing. This is a great scout vehicle. Oh, here we go. Let's try reversing this thing out here. Put this thing into low and let's try to crawl to the left and try to get this thing on the actual thing. There we go. Without falling off of it would be nice. Oh, just like that. That worked out. But yeah, I was uh, having some flashbacks there of, of the Earth 2 stuff. All right, let's see what the lighting looks like on this at night. So at night, we do have the front bar that does turn on. Now, the overhead lights, those KCs, they don't turn on, weirdly enough. So there's the lighting on this thing. I mean, we damaged the left front a little bit there, but. You can see it puts out quite a bit of light. The rear lights look really nice too. I mean, hats off, you know, and I've got to say, some of these mods we get like this, like, this is awesome, Diaz. This is good stuff. This is like, you know, having something from Focus themselves. Or, yeah, fo Focus, right? Yeah. I always forget. The publishers and the developers, it, it always throws me off. I don't know. But there you go. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and head back to the garage and we'll check out what customization we have for this truck. Here we are in the garage. Check it out. We have two engine options, the 2.3 liter EcoBoost or the 2.7. Gearbox wise, they give you a stock one, obviously an all around DeVault gearbox. You have the freeway option and then you have the snow runner. So I chose the snow runner today that we were using there. Uh, advanced gearbox sporting many functional improvements over regular variants, such as high gear count and top speed. Blah, 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 we have seen before suspension options there's high and high so you can have a higher one or the one that i was using today which i tried to make this as close as the real one looks like a lot of tire options here we have 43 inch cooper discovers we have the new tires toya uh toyo open countries you have the maxis trepiders or new tires too that we're using today again i was looking at pictures on google and trying to make it look as close as i could to the ones i saw uh, in those pictures, 43 inch creepy crawlers. Obviously you have to change out the wheel for that. Those are too small there. Uh, KM twos and the Nito uh, or Nito trail grapplers right there. Now you're probably wondering how you change that out. Of course, you know, you can go to visuals and rims and change them out this way. So we'll get to that in a second here. Spare wheel options, uh, or sorry, winch options, stock scout, extended, advanced, autonomous, and high power. We're using the autonomous scout in case we rolled. We did not. So it was actually really Really good. Spare wheel options. You have the tire uh, Ford, you have the spare tire, the Rhino, or the tire G for the back. That's what we were using the tire G right there for. Diff lock options. You have the engageable or the unlocked. That's what we did was the unlocked here. Engageable, we'd have to go to Alaska, North America, and find the item for that. So they did make it kind of fun. If you do download this mod, hey, go out there and try to find the engageable diff lock for this truck. When it comes to the frame options, there's quite a few here. You have hardtop A, hardtop B. So you can take these off, actually, and even the top rack, you can remove that. So you can do a lot of customization when it comes to that. The front rack there, you can remove that one as well. Um, and then we have options here for the Gaia. You could take that off if you wanted to. Um, and all of this stuff. Let's go ahead and put it back where it was. Actually, that's not too bad looking there. You got to have the top rack for those. So now you can take the guy off if you want to and the tools if you want to. So those are all options. Put that on there. Those are all your frames. Visuals, we have the grill Badlands or the Big Bang. So you have two options there when it comes to grills. I like the Badlands grill there personally. The door options, you have doors, door with hole, or you can just remove them. You don't have to have a door at all on your truck, as you can see there. So you can really go off-road and have a good time with it that way. Rooftop options, LED bar, 
uh, is not on there because we don't have that in the front there. I would have to remove that little thing. Um, it's right. It's a frame add-on actually, and it's the front rack. That has to be on for you to go in and change that out. The LED bar, there it is right there. So you can remove it or uninstall it, whatever you want to do. It's an option there. Front bumper options, bumper Bronco, and then bumper Bronco. So I went with the one that I saw in the pictures, but you have this option as well. And then rims, here we are. So we have the beadlock capable wheels, the grid road off wheel. Then you have the Rhino, Renara, uh, the DEF 122. You have the Rockstar and then the wheel Bronco. There is your options. As for color, it looks like they went with all of the factory ones, except for the yellow didn't have that orange. I, there's no orange option here, but the blue looks really nice for sure. Uh, then we have gray, we have white, red, gray, like a darker gray there. Then you have white, then you have, like, I'm just gonna go through these. I don't have to say them all. You know what colors are. <laughs> That's actually a really nice looking blue too. I like that one. Uh, and then that, but none of that, I haven't found the orange like that, that Bronco orange. I've seen the yellow, just not the orange. Like I said, in the bobbleheads, you have the option for a GoPro. You can uninstall that if you'd like, but that's the only options there are for the Bronco. Well, there you have it, folks. That is a look at the Bronco mod for SnowRunner. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Go check it out. I'll have it linked in the description. A big thanks to all of the developers out there that have been creating mods for SnowRunner. It really, really is appreciated by all of us that uh, can't do it ourselves. And it brings, you know, a whole new look to the game, a whole new fresh feel to it. So again, thank you, thank you. That's gonna do it. I'll see you next time. Take care. I often get asked, Jeff, do you have any merch? And the answer is yes. You can check out the link in the description or you can just click right here on this video and it will take you to the merch store. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it, guys.